Hello everyone, this is Helen H and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope everyone is doing well today. Today we have a fun little project. Now this is from the hashtag Pinterest play. All the information about this collaboration is below. This is a open collaboration that I'm co-hosting with Birdie from Birdie the Recycled Hippie Chick. And the idea is to look at your Pinterest boards, pick something out and make it instead of just collecting all those ideas, actually making one. Now this one came from Carolyn Duby. Uh, she is a wonderful jelly plate artist and she does other things as well. She's a designer for Stencil Girl Stencils. But she came up or she showed this wonderful idea for using ugly stickers. Now don't be offended if I say these are ugly stickers. To some people they may not be. These are just not ever stickers that I'm going to use. So what I did, and unfortunately I just found this pin after cleaning out a lot of my sticker stuff, but I did find a couple that I'm not going to be using anymore. So what I did was I made them into better stickers. So I did some all kinds of painting and uh, st stamping and stenciling and whatever over them to make them better. And I'll even show you, we'll even use use one or two in a spread. Um, but what, what I did, these ones are not super shiny. I did have one set, I believe it's this set that I'm gonna mark up a little bit with you today. I think it's this set right here. Look, one was even cut out. Um, but I still used it, that um, they were very shiny. It will work, okay? You can paint over them, that's not a problem. The only thing that I learned is don't overwork it. Like when you get the paint on, just let the paint be. Don't keep going back and forth over it like that because then it tends to pick up the paint and uh, make a bare spot. So I'm just using some old white paint here and I'm just gonna go ahead. Now the reason I'm not using my gesso, this will work with gesso, probably great with gesso, is because I have cheap gesso and it doesn't work at all. It's just like white acrylic paint. And I think I got it either at, at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I can't remember. So I'm just using some old white paint and it's nice and thick. And you see how it's going on really well. So this is what I did with each of the ones that, each of the sheets that I did. I only have five sheets to do, because like I said, sadly, I had just cleared out all a bunch of stickers I didn't want. And I could have done this, and it, it would have been so fun. Um, I had so much fun yesterday making the ones that I showed you. And um, anyway, so just go ahead and paint right over them. Uh, you know, we all, because I, <laughs> I was explaining this to Mr. Moss Cottage yesterday at dinner that, you know, I was doing this, and he's like, well, why do you have ugly stickers? And it kind of just st stopped me in my track, and I, I was thinking, that's a good question. Why do I? He's like, well, where do you get ugly stickers? Like, why do you, you know, why would you have them if you think they're ugly? And I... <laughs> I had to think about that for a while. And I was thinking, well, I think they just find me. I don't know. Um, but then I went back and looked at looked at the stickers that I still had. And I realized they're not necessarily ugly, like these ones that I'm painting over now. It's just that I would never use them. At one time, I thought they were great and I would use them. And now, you know, not so much. So I think that's what it is. I don't, like, go out and buy ugly stickers. But, you know, sometimes we buy packets of stickers at thrift shops and stuff like that. And, um, you know, it might have a couple sheets that are less than desirable and we just tuck them in our stash for some reason, you know, and don't get rid of them. Now, this is a Golden Burnt Sienna, Golden Brand Burnt Sienna. And I think on this one, I'm going to... Did I have my other scissors here? Here they are. Sorry for the reach. Um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe just smoosh this on. Instead of using a paintbrush, maybe I'll just go ahead and kind of brush it on. I want some that are kind of grungy looking um, because the other ones that I showed you were all kind of bright colors. And we'll look at them again. But um, they're all kind of bright colors. So I think I'm going to go with 
muting some down and see I didn't even wait for that that white paint underneath to dry if you want to wait for your layers to dry especially if you're going to uh, use colors that might turn to mud then yes you do want to if you want bright colors and you don't want just all mud then you are going to have to wait for the layers to dry in between but because if you use acrylic paint which is what I'm using it t it dries fairly quickly so it's usually not you know a big if you've got several sheets by the time you get through a couple sheets doing the under layer then it's time to do the next layer and so on and so forth so you know just kind of like oops just kind of like that um, put that on there and then I have also this uh, yellow ochre let's use a little bit of that I'm just showing you really how I got the uh, paint on I mean I just really slapped it on now a couple things I'm gonna say I haven't tested you know any of my stickers yet we're gonna do we're good we're gonna do some but use some in a, a collage or something but um, these are older stickers that I'm using. So even if I wasn't covering them with paint, I would probably use a little bit of glue underneath. Uh, older stickers tend to be not quite so viable. If you're using brand new stickers, it may not be a problem. But stickers may uh, loosen up a little bit from the backing and, you know, you might get some paint underneath or whatever. Uh, don't worry about it. You know, like I said, you can always glue if you have to. But um, if you keep your paint wet, okay, see, so I, I already like that right there. Just even like that. But we're going to put that one aside. So that's like basically an undercoat. Did you see how quick that was? So, and I did, like I said, I didn't even dry that one in between. So I'm just going to put that aside for a minute. Now, this one I did do last night, and it is dry. I had uh, some pink, bright pink paint, and then white on there. And I think I do actually want to put some, um, maybe a little bit of this light turquoise blue on here. And, guys, I just used these... Um, uh, foam makeup pads and when they're dry they get hard on the end so I just slice a little slice off and then I've got another viable end and that's what I use to do you know kind of blotchy painting and so on and so forth so I think I'm going to pour out a tiny little bit of this blue here and maybe just make some random marks or something on this just maybe just a little bit like this I don't want a whole lot. And the other thing is you can just do like something like this, a base layer like this. And then when you're using the sticker, if you need to decorate it more based on your actual project, you know, then you can do some stamping or, you know, like let's just say, soon I'm going to be working on a cowgirl themed uh, journal. You know, maybe I'd leave these like this. And then when it comes time to work on the journal, I'll it will speak to me and tell me, you know, what I want to do uh, with it. So that's just a little bit of blue highlight like that. And then I think I'm going to use some of this yellow ochre um, to also put on here. And I know you're probably thinking, ugh, that would be a horrible combination. I actually love this color yellow ochre. Um, and so I'm just going to do a little dabbing on that of this also because I love this color combination the the bright pink white a little bit of blue some yellow ochre and see right here you can actually I, I maybe not in the camera but I can read there is words under there I don't know what it says but really I used all kinds of stickers one of them it's not this one one of the ones we'll look at again in a minute I actually it was camping stickers and they are weirdly shaped so that that'll be interesting when I go to use those so okay so we've got that and I'm just gonna put that to the side so we've got something like this then what we can do is um, oh I know let's take a little bit of black I have my box of paints next to me so I'm just I just am pulling stuff out of there I'm just getting an idea as I go along here Let's go ahead and get it all over ourselves first because look, you know, how would this be a Helen video if she's not either covered with glue or paint or both? No, of course not, but that's okay. All right, that's when I'm at my happiest, right? Is when I'm covered. Oh, now that's nice. 
Good thing I'm taking a shower soon. So I'm, I've got some black paint here and a kind of just like a medium brush. I'm just going to make some random patterns on here with the black, just like this. And I know when I pull these off, I will love them because I love this color combination and um, they're going to probably be super cool when they're done. Now, you can use script, you can use stamps on here too. I really only use stencils, but you could certainly use stamps as well. All right, I'm going to leave it like that. I don't want to put too much black on there. Um, but, um, and I, I don't want to ruin my marker. I'm just looking. When this is completely dry, I might use my Dollar Tree gold magic marker and just make some gold marks on there too. But see how easy that is? Okay, so this is a whole page of stickers right here that I just translated from, uh, you know, well, what it was, it was word stickers. This, this particular one was just all word stickers with words I would never use in colors I would never use. So um, now I've got a whole thing. I'll just show you, well, maybe we'll use this in our, our uh, demonstration of using them. So guys, don't throw out those ugly stickers. Don't give them away, give them a new life, and then you don't have to buy new stickers, right? So, like I said, these are the ones that I made yesterday. This one I did some magic marker with uh, Sharpie marks, some painting marks, stencils, more black marks. Again, just layer upon layer upon layer of paint. Just like we do jelly prints and things like that. Um, that's what, you know, that's what these are. You know, basically, I didn't use a jelly plate. Now, in Carolyn Doobie's demonstration, the pin I'm going to give you is actually a video where she works on hers, and she does use a jelly plate, but you don't have to. As you can see, I didn't use a jelly plate, but if you don't know her, you, you probably, if you're into jelly plating or stenciling, you should give her channel a look because she is fearless. She will throw anything on her jelly plate, and I just love that about her. So let's go ahead. Ooh, I just saw a really cool page. Where was it? I wonder if I could find that page again. Where was it? Was it that one? That one? No. Oh, well. Okay. I, actually, all of these pages are really cool. I, I like all of them. So we're going to go to where I thought it would work. Okay. So here's this little weird page I have right here, this little folded up page here. I just kind of folded up the edge and then stapled it, and then I have a just a piece from a book of different kinds of, um, what is that, crochet trim and stuff. So I just um, have a little torn piece of paper on here that is all that's on this page, and it's a weird shape, so it's going to be fun to work on. So I have a page here. This, I think, what is this? This is a, I think it's the... Um, some kind of index from a workbook, uh, a work basket, or Paco Fun, one of those old craft magazines. I think this is just an index from them. And then this is really cool. This is a correspondence from um, somebody. And I, I had this thing, and I was going through some old ephemera because I'm making some ephemera pack to put in my antique shop. And this is a course in correspondence filing practice outfit number one, 75 pieces of correspondence in miniature. And I thought, well, I don't even understand what that is. And then I realized what this is, they're, they're numbered. Someone has numbered them in pencil. Someone has initialed them. And there are things that are checked and outlined and underlined and so on and so forth, where I think you get these little miniature things like this. And as a student of, you know, secretary school or whatever, you correct it and then you send it in and then they tell you whether you're right or wrong. So I think that that's really cool. So let's go ahead. I'm just, I have absolutely no, no, uh, obviously, you know, it's me. I never have any kind of idea what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to tear some paper and let's and make more paper scraps. Um, and we're just going to make a little collage real quick. Um, I do like this correspondence thing. I especially like this top. It's got a kind of, maybe we'll use the top part and we'll use the bottom in something something else. 
Um, so I'm just going to play a little bit like I always do when I make collage. And this is going to be a super quick little collage because the, the point of this video is not making a collage. The point of this video is making the um, stickers, right? To, to make some ugly stickers not so ugly. Let me just see if I can put a clip here to hold this down a little bit just to hold it open a little bit so so that I can work here. Now, um, sadly, they're not dry yet, so I, I can't use these stickers because I think this would look really good with that hot pink. So we're gonna go ahead and maybe use some stickers, a sticker off this sheet. Now, I'm not even sure, I'm looking at the back. Okay, these are like big stickers. These are like big tags and small tags. So I'm just going to go ahead. I want one that has more the pink in it versus the, this one has some more red and this has more pink. We're going to go with the pink. So I'm just going to peel this off here and see what I get. Okay, here's my sticker. Ugh, okay. Now, in the video, Carolyn shows that sometimes you will get this paint uh, on the side here. You can either just fold it off or just press it down and it will be smooth again. But if you don't want a smooth edge, you can just leave the paint hanging the way it is. So this is my sticker here. And this is like way too big for this spread here. Absolutely way too big. So I'm just going to go ahead and tear it up. Why not, right? Let me just stick that there. So let's see if we can't use this some way else, you know, and just do something else with it. So I'm just thinking here. I like this little sequence here. I like the sequence here. Now I don't so much like the crochet trim there. So let's try to keep some of those sequence. Okay, so now I've, I've securely attached that to there. And this actually has the little hole for the tag, which I kind of think is cool. So let's go ahead. If I do something... All right, well, let's go ahead and stick this down because... Um, it wants to go, to, it's stuck to itself anyway. I didn't mean for that to happen, but I forgot that these are these stickers are actually super sticky. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick the other part, which is the back of this little index thing. And let's just go ahead and stick that, uh, maybe here. It looks like there is a little bit of pink paint or something splodged underneath there anyway. Okay, so now I have this thing, this institute thing. Oh, that that's just the, the, the faux. I don't know if this is even a real thing or is this just something that they used for this course. Um, I need to tear this up a little bit smaller. And I think I need another piece of my... See, if it's a big sticker like this, you can just tear it into pieces. Let's see here. What if we went something down? Oh, I don't want to actually stick it down until I'm happy with the... Uh, the way it is. Um, yeah, I like that. So this one has to go on first. And like I said, this is a rare sticker, older sticker here that is still really sticky on the bottom. But if you're not sure, I would glue it. Just put a, run a little bit of glue underneath. And let's just put this, oh, that's upside down. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Let's put it sideways. Let's put that one there like that. All right, and then let's see. Um, I don't think I have anything on my desk that would be a good focal point for, oh, well, you know what? I do actually. The only real focal points I have on my desk at this time is this washi tape with the eyes on it. What if we put an eye on it? Let's just use this eye because it's it's here and it's on my desk. Okay. Let's just put this right here. Got that same color blue in it. That's kind of cool. Okay, I, I kind of already like that. All right. I know it, it's not everybody's, like abstract collage is not everybody's cup of tea, and I totally get that. 
So the last thing I think I'm gonna do is get out my favorite watercolor crayons, which are which is my Vicki Booten uh, watercolor crayons. And I just love them because I love the colors on these so much. So let's just go ahead and do a little bit of, of uh, coloring in, in for no reason other than to add a little bit of color, right? And those, those can be smushed, or I could add water to them and water activate them. But I think I actually like the uh, like it the way it is without uh, putting the water on, just smudging it with my finger. So that is super cute. Let me see if I can, uh, it's not going to be perfect, but I've got this little sheet of paper here. Can you see now what that little abstract um, collage is like? And see, and I still have another big piece of that sticker left over. So even if you've got these big kind of stickers, you can use them on, um, tear them up and use them in smaller pieces. I actually like that. Okay, we're gonna put that aside. So I just wanted to show you real quick, um, see if this one's dry yet. So this one, I'm just gonna sacrifice a sticker here. This one was kind of words and in strips like this but you see how cool that is I mean that is just so cool and that was a sticker that I had absolutely no attachment to now I've got an extra sticker here I'm just gonna stick it here because when I finish the video I will have to put that somewhere in one of my journals this one here is the camping one I think is it no I think this one here I had two of the same. This one here is the same as the sheet I just used. Well, I don't even know what I did with it. Is it on my desk? I don't see it. Oh, it's right there, Helen, right in front of you. These two were actually the identical stickers. So this one is the same as this one. These are these big stickers, and then we've got small ones on the side, so on and so forth. So that's the same as that one. This one is the camping one right here, I believe. And this one has edges that are, let's just take one off. And like I said, I'll use it. See, the edges are cut deckled. That's the way the sticker was. I could actually stick that back on, on there. So that was that one. And these are, these are weird shaped stickers. And then this one, is again just square kind of labely stickers but you see how how busy that is and everything but if you just take one off it looks super cool right you see that I love that I mean that is so cool look at that if I saw stickers in the store like that I would buy them right because I love them so much so get out just a couple color paints that you really like, some of your stencils, um, and just go to town on those ugly stickers and resurrect them into something beautiful that you can use. And um, without spending any money, you're keeping them from the trash and you are making something yourself for, to use in your own projects. So I think that this is a win-win. I'm so glad I found Carolyn's video. Look at her video. It's super fun. Um, and like I said, if you don't know her, you'll probably want to check out some of her videos. Um, if you are interested in jelly printing, just put jelly printing in her search bar on her channel. She is the queen of jelly printing. So guys, I hope you like this channel. I hope this is fun for you. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And until the next video, guys, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.